In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up the units and the grid in plasticity. Now, depending on what you use, whether it's millimeters or inches, you're going to want to set things up appropriately so that you can model your parts. So one of the things that I do is I'll go in and I'll say go into preferences and then we're going to set this up. Originally, we'll set it up for millimeters and we'll also set it up for inches. So in this case, Basically what I do is I take a grid size and I'll make it slightly larger than the model that I want to create. So if in this case we wanted this to be, say we're going to be working with a model that's like 80 millimeters, we can set this to 100 and then we can set our accent lines. You can set those to either every millimeter or every 10 millimeters, whatever works good for you. If you're going to be using grid snapping though, you might want to leave it set to one millimeter. So when we do that, we can see that now we have a grid that matches all of our settings that are in there. Another thing too is, unless you really plan on using the default cube, I would delete the default cube. So now you just have your grid and your units set up the way you want them to. And then once you do that, you can save this file out and then load it up whenever you need to. And if you're working in millimeters all the time, save as the startup scene. That way, every time you open Plasticity, it's going to open it with this grid already set up in your units. So the next thing we're going to look at is inches. So let's say that you're creating something that's four foot. So you want to go slightly larger than that. So we probably would want to go about 60 inches, which is five feet. If we set this to one, then it's going to snap the grid to every one inch. And you can see that set up here. And again, what I would do is I would go ahead and save this scene out. And then you can load that up so that if you have a scene set up for millimeters, you save it out. You have a scene set up for inches and you save it out. You can load up that scene. Like if you're going to be working in inches for the next week or two weeks or whatever, you can load up that and then save that as your startup scene. Same thing goes for millimeters. If you're going to be working in millimeters for a while, then load up that scene for your millimeter setup and then go ahead and save that as your startup. And then it'll start up that way every time you need it. All right. Thanks for watching the video, and if this helped you, please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.